Hey guys, I'm Rachel, and this week on Off Topic, I somehow convinced a complete legend to be on our show. You may have heard of him. He's won a few MOS Cups, been to a few World Cups, hangs out in our office sometimes. We trekked all the way out to San Diego to spend a day with one of the league's most recent and most notable retirees, Mr. Landon Donovan. Now, I don't know much about retirement. I'm only 23, but I heard that it involves a lot of golf. Golf and warm weather and apparently living life on your own schedule. Well, finally. Rachel. What's up, dude? Little bit of this. What's going on? Nice outfit. You like it? Yeah. Good, because I have something for you. Oh, no. How'd I know that was coming? Mm -hmm. Change rooms are oh, that okay, way. OK, OK. If you could have done one thing besides play soccer, what would you have done? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, my thing was that I started really competitively playing when I was like 15. With so this is like always your life. So it almost like in a way chose me versus me choosing it. Well, that's deep. Because I was, well, it's like <laughs> I was good at it. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep doing it. You yeah. know, and I never had to really stop and think about what do I want to do. So mm -hmm. I was lucky in that way. Yeah. But I guess to answer your question, host a show called Off Topic with Rachel Bonetta. <laughs> that would have been my dream job. Oh, see? Oh. You didn't even look at the ball. Maybe you're not supposed to look at the ball. Good shot. <laughs> Mic drop. Club drop. So what do you like to do in all your spare time that you have now? Um, I've been traveling a lot. Where have you traveled to? We went to Hawaii, Hawaii Fiji, Maldives, uh, where, India. Whoa, so you've yeah. been exploring the world. I mean, we we never had the chance as as we played to really travel and see things. So I want to see things. Do you, do you miss playing soccer? I mean, you play for so long. At the stadium, I miss it. Because yeah. being in the stadium with the fans and the, the energy, it's intoxicating. So I miss that part. What do you think about uh, Gio taking over number 10? Soccer's different. You know hockey well. You're Canadian. So in, <laughs> in, in Canada, you can retire a number. You can wait a long time to give someone a new number because there's 100 numbers. But mm -hmm. in soccer, it happens quickly. So if someone was going to do it, uh, I think Gio's proven that, that he's a good guy to take over. Hold on, can I, can I stop this and just show this to a camera? Look at that. What's up? My dad gave me this. He's a lifelong Toronto Maple Leaf fan. Tell your dad I'm sorry. Unfortunately. So you're coaching the Helm soccer camp. Is that like, we is are. that a nice way to kind of keep soccer in your life? Yeah, so Stuart Holden, Brian Ching, and myself got together. We wanted to stay connected to soccer in some way, and we wanted to have fun. Um, We've realized that it's pretty enjoyable to go out and just help kids. They really get a lot out of it. I think we get a lot out of it, so it's been really fun. Mm -hmm. What kind of coach are you? Are you like a, a mean coach? Or are you... I'm a dictator. It's my way or the highway. <laughs> no, I'm positive. I want them to know what, what we experience as pros. It does us no good to just sort of fluff it for them and not tell them what it takes. To, and it's not just a pro soccer player. It's a, a good at anything in life, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to work hard to do what you do. You don't just show up on camera and do what you do. You work hard, you prepare. That's the same thing as we do, I think, right? Yeah. You work hard? Uh... Oh. Okay, so for the past couple years, LA and Seattle have been the top two teams, but this season, LA seems to have Seattle's number, so what do you think is gonna happen this Sunday? I think the Galaxy win. How did I Is that know you were boring? Say that? Yeah, it was boring. I think the Galaxy are gonna win. Ooh, what do you think's think gonna you happen? I didn't think you were gonna say that. <laughs> I'm gonna go opposite, and I'm gonna say Seattle wins. What? Yeah. Well, I think that's and a bad this, choice. And for the shot right now, is the one that's gonna take it. Okay, that's okay, fine. Okay, so if I, will if I get the, take that bet. if I get a further shot, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. I do not want to make Clint Dempsey mad at me. 
Okie dokie. So well, considering we could walk to your ball in about four <laughs> seconds, we'll see. Whatever, you talk a big game. See what you got. Well, crap. I mean, it wasn't straight, but it was further. It wasn't straight, but it was. Go further. Galaxy. Galaxy win. Sorry, Sounders. I think that the next time we do something together, we should go skydiving. Okay, how about out the plane with LD and RB? Out the plane. And every time we interview somebody, we're just jumping out of a plane and... Off plane. Oh, you could do interviews while skydiving. That's what I'm saying. That would be sick. See? Wheels are turning right now. Wheels oh are gosh. turning. That would be really fun. I'll call your agent. We'll set up okay. a meeting. We'll figure something out. We'll call you. You don't call him. <laughs> Well, this is us. Quite a day, LD, quite a day. It's been fun. You can keep that outfit. Thanks for the clothes. No problem. It's been emotional. See ya. Thanks. Big thanks to Landon for hanging out with us and to Morgan Run in San Diego for having us. You guys can watch LA Galaxy take on Seattle Sounders this Sunday at 9.30 p.m. on FS1. See you next time. Oh wait, that was Simon's thing. Bye.